In this video, I'll explain how to create a tool in SheCam. Okay, over here on the bottom left underneath tools, you'll click this create a new jet cutting tool icon. And you can name your tool whatever you want. I normally name the tool the size of the material. So let's say I'm cutting quarter inch material. The arc voltage that the book calls for. So let's just say for instance the book calls for 115 arc volts. And I will put in my travel speed, the feed rate. So let's say we're going to cut at 85 inches a minute. Okay. Tool number, you will just select a tool number that, you know, is not used over here that you already have done. Your kerf width uh, your plasma cutter should have come with a book, and in that book, there will be charts for what amperage you're using in reference to the size material that you're using, etc. So, in the book, it will tell you a kerf width. If I'm cutting quarter inch material, I use a kerf width of 0 0.06, feed rate, you said it was 85 inches a minute, pierce delay, the book calls for 0.2 seconds. Our pierce height book calls for 0.19. So as the torch makes its initial fire, it will actually fire at 0.19 inches. The plunge rate, 25 inches a minute, is a a good ballpark number. Your cut height, the book calls for 0.15. And the pause at the end of the cut, you don't need a pause at the end of the cut. Uh, your lead-in type, normal, is fine. So just click OK. And we now have a tool. This is the tool we just created. So now when you do your operation, you just simply select the tool that you want to use.